Hey, what is going on YouTube? Danny NHE here, bringing you a solo Karate. I was using my Titan class, and you can see my ammo low because I did the ammo glitch. As you can see there, all the ammo, it's amazing. But yeah, if you don't know how to do that, I'm sure you'll find it on uh, Google. But you pretty much waste all your primary, all your heavy, switch to an icebreaker, and everything you kill drops, uh, drops heavy. Although you don't really need it that much if you got synths, but... Unfortunately, Joe's been a bit of a dick and hasn't sold them in a while, so you know. Exploit a glitch until they sell that heavy ammo. So, yeah, this is like what I'm running Rune Wings. Uh, I'm going to be putting Galahorn on. Uh, I use a fusion rifle because it does quite a bit of damage to the sword bearer. And it, to do it quite quick, you want to take the sword bearer down as fast as possible. This is a couple of times I've done this now. I haven't really been trying, but this last, like this weekend. I thought right I'll go for a solo and uh, I did it but I got ogres and I was like I want to do it before the ogres so this was this run I actually had to run the full thing solo which obviously included cheese just to get this checkpoint again but yeah I'll show you like the best way of how I do it although I do mess up on the first swords which it didn't really cost me the uh, the time so it's, it was all good you know so basically you want to be doing a certain damage output to him uh, the higher the damage that you can put on him the better a lot of people are into uh, hitting R3, uh, R2 three times and when you work out the damage it's decent damage but it's not the best of damage uh, the best damage is uh, R1 twice, R2 to get the combo R1, R2 or if you could pull it off which this is a very hard one to pull off is R1, R2 three times I've seen it being done, and that is like 100,000 damage per, per like sword. It's pretty beast. You wreck him so quick. But yeah, as you can see, filled my ammo up. Uh, you don't really need the chalice, but uh, if you want to play dangerously with the sword bearer, because I'll show you like a little spot where you go for the sword bearer. So basically, once you get this, you're all three gens anyways on hard mode. It's pretty different. I ain't even tried this on hard mode. So yeah, these thralls come from here, but there's like a certain little spot that they won't run back. So if you turn around here, they'll run to here, and then they'll start moving back. If you shoot that sword bearer, you're pretty much close to him, so he's going to want to get aggressive on you, as you'll see here. And he, the barrier for the thralls is also the same barrier for him. So he'll come in, but he won't come past that point there, same as the thralls. So you can just take him out inside this room, and he'd, as you'll see while I jump on the rock, you're pretty much covered at this side. The right side is probably the best to do it. So yeah, as I'll show you here, this is like the worst bit for me because I messed up on the combo, but you know. I'm not sure if you can do it with any other rocket launcher. Uh, I'm a scrub with Galahorn that finds it super easy. So yeah, as you see, I messed up, so I had to just smash R2 just to get that extra bit of damage in there. And it, if you stand right up against this rock, you, you're like pretty much covered. But for some reason, Crota thought he'd move there for me. He didn't actually move to the to the side, he just thought, yeah, I'll just stand on the bridge. Uh, I did pretty lucky that the uh, boomers weren't showing at me there, because they had a wrecked me. And he'd, I'm running in, just getting some heavy ammo, checking what his elf is, just like, you know. Usually have a little dance with Crota, although he doesn't dance back, so it's kind of like pointless, but you know, it's all good fun. So there we go, quite, quite decent damage, although I did mess up. Uh, while he's there, I run down and he'd go back to that spot as you'll see here. And when you go back down to that spot, you can be dealing damage to the sword bearer. And you can actually see Kuroto running back past you. And then when you see that, you just finish the sword bearer. And you can get them two swords on him, like, without him moving. Because the other one that I did, I might actually upload it, was uh, on my hunter. And he'd, Kuroto actually moved to the other side and it was clutch, very clutch. In fact... I'm probably going to upload it just because it was my first time actually doing a solo Crota. So yeah, as you've just seen, Crota just moved back. It's time to take this sword bearer out, try and get as much time on it as possible. This fusion rifle, it is so beast. It is so beast. Get that relic. Let's go. Let's blast this guy. This is, this is just awesome. A raid where you can kill a boss solo and you're using sword. Man, every game should have fought this. So yeah, 
if you want to like have a go and uh, if you post a video I'll definitely watch other people doing it I've watched a few people do it and they, they all have different styles and my styles just try and get the best combo on him try and take him out before ogres and I finally accomplished it I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did hit the like button subscribe forever I'll see you guys later peace